the money. This is the money. This is the money. This is the money. This is the money. That pays for the phone. That calls the restaurant. That rescues the food. That rescues the food. That feed over one million New Yorkers. Over one million people. That helps feed over one million people in need. Over one million people. It's easy to help. Visit cityharvest.org. One of the first things I do in the morning is go on my morning jog. I make breakfast for my son, get him off to school so I can do my workout. I was a horrible eater, <laughs> but I decided to change my diet. Taking care of my needs first. Choose your health first to help prevent cancer. You just have to take a block of time out of each day. I want to be there for him. I want to be healthy for his graduation. You can't take care of yourself first, then you can't take care of others. Make a commitment today at ChooseYou.com. Notice how some things just go together? Salt and pepper. Uh, fun and games. Oh, right. Cute and cuddly. I have never loved anything more in my life. <laughs> Simply and fabulous. What is that? I did not approve that. Sugar and spice. Hello, Martha Stewart speaking. Dollars and cents. <laughs> when did you start learning about money? Backstage when I was just talking to Ravine. <laughs> Wild and crazy. They're going to say, I got that idea from those, no. those two crazy guys. Show you know those two. Stephen and Chris. Weekdays on the Live Well Network. I think New York Cruise are the best cruise in the world. I've been on Gossip Girl for five years. I was born and raised uh, about a mile from here in Queens. Set decorator is responsible for furnishings and draperies and everything that you see on a set. I get paid to shop. Our vendors are local. They're in Queens or Soho. I have a vendor who's in the Brooklyn Navy Yard. We're middle class people. We're blue collar workers. We need to work here and we give back to the community when we do. I love working in this industry and I love living in New York City. Taxi! I used to never really talk, ever. Uh, I was afraid if I said something wrong, everyone would laugh at me. But then I started to play golf with Special Olympics. It helped me to find my voice. And now everyone else is speechless. Welcome back.